guys, Becky Chase Place here. Today we are going to Pike Place Market. It is a touristy farmer's market area in downtown Seattle. We have never been. We're taking Drew's sister and her fiance and I'm really, really excited to check it out. Look how big these crabs are, they're so big. So we just finished eating lunch at a place called El Baracho. They had tons of vegan options, which was incredible. And the tacos were so good. I got a soy rizo, which is a soy-based chorizo taco. And then I also got a uh, papas and poblano, uh, poblanos, which is potato and poblano peppers. It wasn't spicy at all, and it was incredible. Drew, what did you get? Uh, I had three tacos as well. Two of them were pork tacos. One was like pork and pineapple, which was really good, of course. Yeah. But then the other pork taco was like a slow-cooked pork shoulder. Uh, braised in Coca-Cola, which was interesting. <laughs> and then the, the there was like a distinct flavor I couldn't figure it out. We found out it was uh, actually cinnamon, like pure cinnamon. It was one of the most delicious tacos I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And the third taco was a barbacoa. And it was pretty traditional, pretty standard, nothing too crazy, but all very delicious. But very you good. saved that one for last because you thought it was going to be the yeah, best. Yeah, and it turned it out being, being the, the worst. worst. Yeah, which is I, pretty funny. I think that's so ironic. It yeah. really is. <laughs> but still, it was delicious. I loved it. They had all kinds of vegan salsa, mm -hmm. and you had a vegan queso vegan dip, queso which dip. is amazing. Yes, so now we are going to walk around the farmer's market, and we're going to start on one end, and then just kind of make our way to the other end. No, we're going to the um, the Starbucks roastery. Oh, just kidding. We're going yeah. to the Starbucks roastery. We haven't been, and we are taking Drew's sister with us. We're also eating oh ice goodness. cream. Uh, we went and stopped at a place called Shy Giant, and I'm eating vegan chocolate ice cream. It's honestly incredible. It tastes like coconut, as most vegan ice creams do, but I think it's pretty good. What did you get, Drew? Mocha almond fudge. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. That's delicious. Yeah, mine looks pretty good, too. While we were walking, I got ice cream on my shirt, so I'm gonna clean it off. Um, I feel like a child because we're in an adult coffee shop at a bar and I have ice cream on my shirt. All right, so when this clock hits zero, you see it's 50 seconds right now. So when that hits zero, I have to press the French press down pour that into this concoction, which is uh, a, some adult beverages like whiskey, amaretto, sour, and so forth. Or whiskey, amaretto. I don't think there's any sour. But anyways, and then you put the uh, cream on top. I got the gin matcha, and I haven't tried it yet. Matcha is a type of tea, and gin is a botanical style-esque drink. It's like, tastes like trees. 
So trees and tea mixed together is essentially what I got. So let me try it. That's very okay. It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, it's okay. Just left the Seattle. I keep calling it that. Starbucks. It's the Starbucks. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep calling it that. We just left the Starbucks Reserve, and we are headed to Pink Gorilla, which is a retro video game store. Drew recently started collecting video games, and we're gonna see what they have. escape rooms we are going to do a Thor themed room I can't take you guys in there but I'll let you guys know how it was after we're done one hour later Hi, Mom, I'm on <laughs> okay so we just finished our escape room what do you guys think it was fun yeah we won fun. The we, important did win. Part. we did win yeah yes. we, we finished in 33 minutes and we spent a little bit of time on something we already technically solved so I would say we finished it sooner than that. Much sooner. Like 25 Yeah, minutes. yeah. Because there, there were a few issues with the room. There were a few things that like we did that didn't work. Yeah. And then we like did gave up again. on it. And then we'd ask for a hint and they'd be like, oh yeah, you did it before, but uh, just do it again differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, we thought it was really fun. We want to do another escape room sometime this week uh, because we really like escape rooms. Yeah. 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 Okay, now we're going to go eat dinner. We're going to go to BJ. Damn it, tree. Okay, we're going to BJ's uh, brew house. It's like American cuisine. We just got done eating dinner. We ate at BJ's brew house. I had lentil soup and turmeric cauliflower. It was very good, but I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during our touristy exploration of Seattle. I had a lot of fun going down to Pike Place Market and the Starbucks Reserve was incredible. A lot of fun activities today. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other vlog content you would like to see. You can also reach me on social media. I have a Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll put those links in the description down below. Until next time, bye guys. Okay, if you're still here, last time I asked you what you would like to be when you grow up. For me, I would like to be a teacher when I was a kid. I used to play school with my stuffed animals and my Barbies and I would line them up and give them homework even though I was the one doing the homework, but yeah, I always wanted to be a teacher. Today's question is, what was your favorite toy growing up? Let me know your answer in the comments down below and I'll tell you mine in my next video. Okay, for real, bye guys.